Hello everybody. In today's video, I will show you how to provide an ABAP CDS view as an OData service. I have already created a CDS view here. If you want to know how this works, I show this on this video on the top right. To publish this CDS view, we have to add another annotation called add OData publish is true. After that, we activate the CDS view and we, uh, we see here warning that shows that the service is not active. So this is what we do now. We open an SAP GUI window and here we type the transaction slash n slash i w f n d slash maint underscore service. We see here some services and we click on the button add service. The system alias is local and the technical service name is the name of my CDS view, set test CDS. So I paste this here and we add underscore CDS. This is very important. Then we click on the button get services and we see the technical service name set test CDS CDS. And now we need a package assignment. I put this service in my test example package or you can store it in the dollar temp package locally. So after that we have to accept the uh, transport requests and we see the metadata was loaded successfully. So we go back, we search here for our service, here it is, set test CDS CDS. We load the metadata, OK, and then we click on the button Sub Gateway Client. And here we click on the button Entity Set to pick our entity. Double click. And now we click on the button Execute. OK, we have an error here. So that's good because now I can show you the transaction for the error log. I copy this here. And we open a new window with the error log. Okay, one slash too much. And here we see the error log. So the error text is uh, some kind of conversion exit output failed okay so i suspect that the problem is the flight time so let's uh, comment this and we comment the division function as well where we compute something with the flight time and we activate the cds view again we go back to the sap gui we close this window we close the error log and here we load the metadata to our service again. Okay. Okay. We have to uh, recall the maintain services transaction. So we do this. Okay. We search for our service. Here it is. And now we load the metadata new. Okay. Then we click on the button SAP Gateway Client. Then on the button Entity Set, double click and execute. Okay, now we have um, a valid request. We see here the different entries or the result of the CDS view, the response. And now let's, uh, we can call an, a single record as well. For this, we have to fill out our key fields. In our case, it's care ID and con ID. So let's paste this here and execute again. And now we see 
only a single record with this key. So we have now an XML response and we can change this to JSON. For this, we add here one parameter slash question mark dollar format is JSON and execute again. Now we see the response is in JSON. Okay, so let's go back to the service, to the CDS view. And now I want to check if I can uncomment the division function. So I want to know if I can compute with the flight time without an error. So I reload, re, or I recall the main service transaction, search for my service. And after that, I load the metadata new again. So let's open the gateway client again, pick the entity and click on execute. Okay, so that works. We can use the division function with the flight time. Okay, here we see the set hours field. Okay, so but I have to investigate why it's not possible with the flight time. Okay, important here, every time if you change the structure of your object, here is CDS view, you have to recall the uh, maintenance service transaction and load the metadata again. Yes, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please leave a like or subscribe to my channel for more content. Write me something in the comments. I'm always happy to read from you. Take care and see you soon.